1947 UFO landing near the Rio Grande on the Mexican side of the US border have a Roswell connection? Of course this is just conjecture but the coincidence is interesting. Seven-year-old Eva Holgan witnessed the UFO landing while playing with her two friends. It happened on a hot June day during 1947 and is bizarre to say the least. The craft landed just 40 feet from the children and several small extraterrestrials exited it. They stood outside the disc-shaped object and observed the children playing. The ETs then motioned for the kids to come towards them in a handwave fashion but the kids were too frightened to respond. Apart from initially telling her parents 75 years ago what she witnessed, Holgan, who is now 82 years old, has kept her UFO encounter to herself. Her parents moved in political circles in Mexico and were quick to admonish the young girl over her story for fear of ridicule. Despite their daughter having a life-changing moment, talk of UFOs and aliens wasn't good for their political image. They had their reputations to protect and any talk of little green men in their positions wasn't going to end well. But what about the connection with Roswell? Is there one there? Well, maybe there wasn't any, but what Holgan and her two friends witnessed in June of 1947 just a month before the Roswell crash is interesting. Holgan's UFO landing event occurred just 200 miles south of the Roswell crash landing. Were these aliens the same as the ones who crashed at Roswell? Were they members of the same race of ETs? And were they part of an expedition team connected to the Roswell ETs? When Aliens Revealed Lives Dean Caparella was contacted by Holgan's daughter Vanessa, he immediately organized an interview with Eva. The following is the full interview with Eva Holgan while her daughter is acting as interpreter during the conversation. Eva, um, can I just start by asking when did you encounter the alien and how old were you? Um, it was, uh, seven years old, mm -hmm. 1947, I think, and, uh, I remember something there close to me. Okay. D do you remember the exact date? Well, the exact date, yeah. Um, I remember it was, uh, the the weekend i think it's saturday okay it's but, saturday. You, but you're not and sure it, was it was it like in july in, uh, around may and june okay okay may or june okay can can you describe what happened okay uh, i was with uh three uh, friends and uh, the name, the girl name was Bibi. Yeah, another uh, child is, uh, I don't know, the, the, I don't remember the name. His name was Boy, you know, but mm -hmm. I don't remember his name, but it, we was the same age. And then, and then, what what happened during that day while you were you were playing? Um, we was we was running uh, into the the fields. Is uh, the the fields was um, uh, the fields. Is alfalfa. The name was alfalfa, and we we. Only time was was playing there because the flowers is, uh, around the wild the, flowers. Yeah, ¿cómo se llaman las flowers? Lilas, lilas. Okay, in uh, um, in uh, we were running to the to the to the field, and uh, we stopped. In, uh, in some, uh, like a large fence. Oh, okay. And, and we stopped because the, the field is finished. It was finished, you know. And when we were running, <clears throat> something happened. We was, uh, 
um, looking something different, you know. And um, this, this, how do you say, the disc? How do you say the disc? The flying saucer. Uh -huh. Yes, she calls it a disc. Yeah, the okay. it was in the hoyo, in the hoyo abajo. It was uh, down below, like in a hole. Uh huh. Small hole. And the, and um, is we was we can we we couldn't see what happened and because había mucho polvo. Okay, she said there was a lot of sand and dust, so she couldn't exactly see what it was at first. Mm -hmm. did, did it did it uh, did it land like it came in and landed? Dice que si si lo viste caer land. Lo, lo vimos, pero cuando ya estaba en, el, en, el, en, la, en la tierra, ¿eh? había mucho polvo, había arena y piedras allí. Okay, she said that she partially saw it, and of course she, they didn't know uh, what they were looking at because of all the dust and everything that was flying around. Okay. Cuando, cuando se terminó el polvo, pudimos ver okay. que era un... Una cosa redonda y que se paró y bajaron dos, dos como niños, pero no eran niños. Oh. She said that uh, when the dust settled, they were able to see that it was a disc, some sort of disc. And um, two beings came out of there. Um, they look small, like children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. She said they looked like children, but okay. uh, very different. Uh, they were bald. Con unos ojos color amarillo. Okay. She said that their eyes were like a yellow. Y los ojos eh, se, se pusieron en mis ojos muy fuerte. Okay, she said that they were actually illuminated, and when she was, when I, she made eye contact with them, that it was a very uh, strong, you know, like a. Muy, muy, como se dice, la mirada se clavó en la mirada mía. Okay, she said it was a very intense look. How far, how far away were they? De qué distancia estabas tú de ellos? Como de aquí al, 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 a la bardita. Okay, so it was about 30 to 40 feet away. Pero abajo estaban ellos y nosotros estábamos arriba. Okay, so there on the fields, there's like a little slope. So they were down below the slope. And they were above on the fields level. Okay, so yeah. did they try and communicate with, uh, with you? Sí, trataron de comunicarse con No hablaron. They didn't speak. Simplemente nos hacían con las manos que fuéramos. Como, uh, Así, nos hacían vengan, vengan. Okay. Así, pero hablado no, nomás con la mano. Okay, so there was no, no words spoken or nothing vocal, but they did gesture to her, and as you can see how, she, how, they, how they did it with her hands. So they, so they were waving you to come towards them? Yes, right. Que, que venga, sí, sí, quería, quería que fuéramos. Yeah. And, and, and what did you do then? Nosotros lo que hicimos fue que pues nos asustamos, nos fuimos, corrimos, cayéndonos y levantándonos y nerviosos porque, porque no podíamos correr porque creíamos que nos iban a levantar. Okay. Um, she said that, you know, as, as soon as they realized, you know, they were normal children, um, they got scared, really scared, and just started falling over each other and running away in, in terror, really. Yeah, you said that on you said that What? They thought that they were going to take them away, and, and they, they stayed there while they ran. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, the, so did the aliens, they didn't leave immediately, they, they, they hung around for a while? Se quedaron ahí. Cuando se corrieron o se fueron no, después. Se quedaron ahí. ¿Y entonces cuándo se fueron? No se fueron nosotros porque ya no, no nosotros nos fuimos a la casa y nos metimos y ya no. 
llegamos a la casa muy asustados y no nos creyeron. Creían que habíamos visto visiones, yo creo. Claro. No nos creyeron en nada, nos creyeron muy asustados. Pero no nos viste que se fue. No, ya nos metimos y cerramos la puerta. Well, essentially, they had their backs turned, so she doesn't know how long they were there. She said all they did was run back home in terror and scared, trying to explain to their families what had happened. Okay, did, and how, how, did, how did your family react? ¿Cómo se reaccionó tu familia? ¿Cómo se reaccionó tu familia? ¿Cómo se reaccionaron? Oh, eh, este, pues nos preguntaron que sí, que habíamos visto y les explicamos, pero no, no lo tomaron en serio, creyeron que estábamos nosotros jugando o algo, pero sí, sí estábamos muy asustados. Porque ellos se fueron a la casa, cada quien se fue a su casa, ellos se fueron a su casa y yo me fui a mía. Right. So, you know, the kids were from different households, so, you know, each one went to their corresponding homes. Of course, she was trying to explain to her family what had happened, and unfortunately, they didn't believe her. They thought that she was playing around, uh, you know, just making up things, and just dismissed her. Pero desde entonces, desde entonces, yo siempre estoy viendo al cielo. Todo el tiempo. A ver qué veo. Y sí, y sí he visto algo. De... She's, she's kept this, you know, very clear in her mind for years and of course always looks up to the sky. Um, right. She thinks she's seen things, of course, but um, just on a little note on this, on the family. Um, of course, she was young. She was the baby of the family. And um, my grandfather, which is her father, was in politics. So it was not something that would have been okay at the time back in the 40s to you know yeah be accepting of y cuando estaba en la escuela eh, ya ya como los nueve años diez nos decían que dibujáramos algo yo me acuerdo y y yo dibujaba eso pero pues tampoco me creía she says that you know in her at school when she was you know, told to make a drawing of, of something. She would often draw what she saw, but nobody would understand her. Yeah. How, <laughs> how, how tall were they? Get, get the manual later. Los niños. Una estatura más o menos de un niño de... Sí, como una estatura de unos nueve años, más o menos. Un poquito más alto que nosotros. So, Ellos estaban chiquitos. Okay, so about four feet tall. Okay. okay. Los mismos, los, sí, los mismos que vimos en el internet. Okay, so eran como three, four feet tall. Sí. Okay, about three, four feet tall. She and, said they, were, they look like children. And what about the craft itself? What, what did it look like and how big was it? Eh, ¿Cómo se veía el disco? Oh, eh, era, era arriba, redondo. Okay, so I had like a small dome at the top. Mm -hmm. And then this like at the bottom. I had a wheel. Volante. Sí, oh, wow. Steering wow. wheel? Sí. She said it actually had some kind of steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Inside? Okay. 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 Yeah. She said she saw the door open from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and she was able to actually see inside the craft? ¿Viste adentro? No, 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 no se podemos ver porque estábamos adentro. ¿Cómo viste? En... O se veía por el vidrio, entre el vidrio. Okay, she said veía. there was actually a glass mm -hmm. that she was able to see through and la, see that steering la wheel. Dirección por, yo me recuerdo porque okay. yo, yo me subí al tractor de mi papá y eh, tenía una dirección grande. Oh, okay. So yeah, she she was able to see that through the glass. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Now you mentioned because this this happened just before the the Roswell incident, and uh, the you, you kind of you mentioned that there may be a connection there. I mean, is I mean that can't be confirmed though. See, I have possibility that there is a connection. Do you think that it's the same thing that they crashed in New Mexico? I think so. 
porque, mm. porque está muy cerca el río, ese río está muy cerca de, 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 te, de Texas, de Texas ahí, y de Texas está muy cerca de Arizona, y está muy, Nuevo México, muy cerca. Okay. Based on, uh, you here. know, the location, uh, the fields there that she was discussing earlier were on the Mexico side of the border of the Rio Bravo, which is also known as the Rio Grande. Mm -hmm. um, and the nearest town there was called uh, Prajeres, Prajeres, G. Guerrero. Prajeres G. Guerrero, which is Chihuahua. near Chihuahua. Oh, so okay, course, yeah. Yeah, so the border is very close to what she said, Arizona yeah. and New Mexico. So yeah. it's, New, Me it's New Mexico very, and Texas. Yeah, in Texas. So she she felt that it was very close to where yeah. that y, y fue el mismo año. and it was the same year so she believes that it may be the same one one of the a couple of more details that she had mentioned to me and i'm going to ask her right now um was the sound of of the of the flying saucer, right? Um y fue en 1947. Okay. ¿Cómo se sonía el disco? ¿Cómo que? Se sonía el no se oía ruido. Okay, pero dijiste que era muy de soft. Sí, muy Cuando se Okay. So basically, there was no sound like an engine sound, mm -hmm. yeah. and then it had stopped completely. But she had heard what she had told me before was she had heard like a, a like a soft motor run, just really right. soft. I, I wanted to ask because a, a lot of people who have close contact experiences like this um, will report missing time, which which will denote that there was an abduction that took place without them being aware of it. And then they suddenly appear back where they are and a couple of hours has gone by. Did any of that ever happen with Eva? No. Okay, so, so no missing time. No sé, algo, algo bien, bien para mí, que siempre era el número uno de esas cosas, en todo, eh, este, me se me quedaban viendo. Yo era una persona grande en lugar de una niña. Okay, yo les digo. She, sorry about that. It, it was kind of hard to explain that in Spanish. Yep. Um, you know, it's not... <laughs> So that's something that is normally talked about, so it's hard to explain. But um, she she doesn't recall any loss of time, or okay. uh, you know whether time went backward or forward or anything like that. Was, um, mm -hmm. Okay, all right, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Did did so? Did she report report this at any stage during her life to like official sources, say MUFON or or, or some other agency? No, no reportaste a nadie, ¿no? No, no, no porque en, ese, en esos años estaba muy atrasado todo. Um, she hadn't reported it in, to anyone officially. Um, I did make a report last year on the MUFON site. Mm -hmm. It was about May of May 5th of last year. And on that website, it asked for a very detailed description of you know, the beans or anything that was seen. And that's when I started asking her all the questions, um, especially about like the color of their skin, the color of their eyes, the shape of their neck, uh, that kind of thing. Right. And that's when I started realizing um, the details that she was giving me were not anywhere that I had read or seen on the internet or anything or any programs. So, you know, so when I, of course, submitted that on the MUFON site, I never got a response and I was just really surprised. I don't think they believed it. Yeah, so some of the details um, she explained to me uh, about like the skin suit that they were wearing. Yeah. Una niña diferente. Tienes que explicar cómo se veía 
uh, el ese que andaba, que tenía pues un uh, vestuario, uh -huh. eh, era un vestuario verde, era verde con cafecito y manga larga, eh, la, como una chaquetita y los pantalones, la, este, pues eran diferentes en cuestión del estilo, okay. o sea, derechos, ¿verdad? Pero la, la chaquetita, bien curiositos, bien arregladitos, se veía. Okay. Well, she said they were kind of formal or well-dressed, actually. Um, the suit was kind of like a, a green with brown. Mm -hmm. And it was, it looked like a two-piece because she said he was wearing pants as well. So, like green, brown? Verde, con, como con, con manchas, así, manchitas, así como los como los vestidos que usan la tela de su militar de Estados Unidos, algo así. Así, entre verde, medio como manchas, algo así. Pero, ¿qué era el, el material? No, se veía grueso. Okay, se veía she grueso. said the material looked really thick. Yeah. Did, 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 they, did they resemble the, um, you know, the, the familiar gray aliens with the large head and the, and the, the large black eyes? Se veía como aliens que has visto con las cabezas grandes y las no aliens. no no ellos tenían no tenían como se dice así como lo vimos en el internet la cara no desfigurada una cara chiquita pero no la nariz grande ni nada tenía su nariz boca y los ojos y los ojos que me llamaron la atención porque redondo 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 y, y color amarillo y casi she said that their faces didn't look disfigured or like the one seen on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, she said that they had, you know, like a, a normal head. Uh, they had small noses. Uh, the yep. eyes were round and yellow. Right. Okay. Why? Why did? Um, why did Eva decide to um, to come out now and 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 finally tell the story? ¿Por qué decidiste a Martín decir tu historia? Porque, la, la, porque cuando yo le te platiqué a ti, tú de curiosa me viste viendo en el internet y, y entonces me hablaste y me dijiste cuáles de todos estos que están aquí, porque había muchos, eso eran los que tuviste y yo te dije estos y resultó que eran mis 147. Ok. Well, um, I had been watching some programs. One of them was uh, Project Blue Book, mm -hmm. <laughs> one of my yep. favorite shows. And, uh, you know, I had already been, you know, submitting the thing on MUFON and just kind of reading everything. And I asked her again, you know, what is the story again of that you, that you saw? I just wanted her to compare notes basically on what I had seen and then right. heard. Okay. And it's when she said, you know what, I think I'll, I'll finally explain everything. And that's when she kind of basically opened up the Pandora's box and explained more about what happened. Okay. Well, it's, it's certainly a really, really interesting story. The fact that you've, you know, it, it's been with you for, for so long, what's probably 73 years, I'm um, just doing the math, but uh, I really am appreciative that you've decided to share that with us. And, uh, and, and you know, in anything else that uh, you remember, please let us know. Okay, si recuerdas otras cosas que le digas y te dan las damos gracias por tanto. Ok, lo único que puedo decir que, que no. este, el, el, he sido una niña, desde niña, que he puesto atención, quiero aprender, aprender, saber, aprender. Y eso me ha favorecido mucho en cuestión de... ¿De, de, de, de en mis clases, en mi deporte, en todo, número uno, en todo. Okay. Y en mi trabajo también. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that she really wanted to mention, and I know this for a fact, is that ever since that happened, um, obviously she doesn't know if she was influenced by it or it was because of it. She's always been very competitive in everything. 
coming from a family in Mexico, uh, you know, girls did not go to college, did not really go into school or anything like that. She was always interested. And uh, she was always number one in class. Um, even when they had no girls basketball team, she started one in Mexico, which is, you know, obviously not a female sport over there, uh, very big or, you know, known, mm -hmm. and they won championships. So she carried that with her even to adulthood, where she always was competitive in sales and always number one. So she was, she's kind of glad that happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I thank you for sharing your story, Eva, and Vanessa, also for you acting as uh, interpreter. Um, but thank it's you. fascinating. It's just a fascinating story. It's thank a ex ex big experience. Thank you. Thank you.